Hey everyone, Breadmania78, and today we're doing your truck, uh, truck simulator 2 because, uh, just because we, we're doing this game. So we haven't played this in a while. Played it one time, very long time ago, and I basically talked. And that's about all I did, so. Great. Okay, so we're in Europe, but it's one of those countries where it's the same as the moon. Perfect! I did see they have a multiplayer mod for this now, so pretty intense. I didn't, I just, I've been going through my games trying to find one that, because every Sunday night, I'm like, oh, I gotta play a game, gotta look at my games, and go through them all, I'm like, these are gonna take forever to install, and I don't know how to play this game, and blah, 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 blah. And, uh, I tried God Mode. Wait, is that my, is my destination across the street? Where's this taking me? My destination's across the street, isn't it? Yeah, okay. My destination was across the street. How do you mess this up? Unbelievable. Oh, shit. Oh, there's John. The guy's an asshole. He's probably gonna mock me for this. Shit. See, he's got the sweet cars. You know what I got here? A bunch of dirty diapers. Yeah, I'm transporting senior citizens' diapers. <sighs> I, I mean, it gets the, the bills paid, but Jesus Christ. A real nice asshole. Alright, let's go. go all the way around. It's ridiculous. I hope he didn't see me, I swear. Because if he, I know if he sees me, he's gonna... The next time I see him... Oh, so you got lost trying to deliver those diapers. Oh, really, John? Dickwood. 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 Yeah, that's what I'll call him, Dickwood. Oh, shit. There he is. Just play it cool. He dropped his stuff off, but no need to get worried about it. Catching all the green lights. At least Lady Luck's on my side today. Oh, God. Alright, here we go. Perfect. Where am I dropping this disgusting fecal matter off. It's disgusting. I mean... Uh, you'd think they'd have some dedicated... To skip parking the trailer and complete delivery, you'll miss the prize parking bonus. Press enter. No, I gotta show John. I mean, I was gonna do it, but now, I mean... I, I know for a fact, you know, he's gonna show up... Oh, you didn't do the precise parking. I got this, I got this. Okay, maybe... Maybe if I... No, this involves a lot of math, so... Yeah, and we did it! Alright, everyone. <laughs> that was way... That was the quickest thing ever. Alright, let's do a, something that's not... <laughs> Alright, I did my route length. Go across the street. Go across the street. Go across the street. Go across the street. Who wants to go across the street? Do you wanna go across the street? I wanna go across the street. Potatoes! Sign me up, whores. I gotta get you my potatoes. I'm gonna give you this potatoes, girl. I'm gonna get you these potatoes. Oh, yeah. I'm giving you these potatoes. Giving you all my potatoes. Giving you my potatoes. I'm giving you my, my potatoes, girl. What's this? Some kind of trap? Shit. I know the... Those bus boys are watching me too. Third day on the job, boys. You try driving a truck filled with potatoes. The nerve of some people. Okay, looks like we're on the right track. Thank God. Whew. All right. 
so I mean we moved up in the world we're not doing diapers I mean it was an odd job but uh, I still it ticks me off but I, I mean I guess I should I, I justify because I need the money but still delivering son of a bitch There we go. There we go. Okay, great. Oh, shit. There he is again. Fuck. Damn it. Every time, every job I do, John Herskire, that's his name, Herskire, always flops by. It's disgusting. You know what? I want to get my mind off him because this is just ticking me off beyond belief. Let me let me tell you. Oh, I got a, I got um actually bought a um what are they called ferrets? Yeah, I bought a ferret. Ah shit! I bought a ferret yesterday, and uh, you know they like socks, so I got a bunch of socks and I tied them together. But um that didn't work because they can only go in one sock and then they're stuck, you know, because there's a knot in them. You know, there's only so many. You know, they, they can't go. Unless I had long socks. Some, you know, either either way. So, I, you know, I tied the socks together. And I figured, well, if I learn how to sew, I could make a tunnel of socks and hang them around. And the ferret could get around while being warm. You know? It would be nice and warm. Nice little fa uh, ferret walking around, getting going through the socks. So, I do this. I spend about... 16 hours sewing together uh, my socks. By the way, I'm out of socks now. I completely forgot that I, you know, I used all my socks. I have, like, uh, socks for about two days. I don't really have that many socks. So either way, um, I do that, and uh, oh, where's the, uh, the window wiper? Ah, oh, crap. Crap. Well, you know what? My grandfather, he, he's been through a lot worse, so I, I can I can deal with this. Anyhow, so I'm sewing these socks together. It's about 5, 6 in the morning. Uh, Ferret's sleep. His name is Crackers. I, I wake him up. I say, Crackers, I got you your tunnel system. Here it is. And now what I did was I hung the socks uh, all throughout the ceiling so he can get around and, you know, travel through the house without me stepping on him or tripping on the socks maybe he's sleeping somewhere it's all around the it's like a he's basically a diehard um bruce willis he's basically a diehard bruce willis i was gonna put like some uh pop rocks and like have him step on it make believe like his feet were all cut up and he had to fight a bunch of people with an uzi but i figured that was too much it's you know five six in the morning i don't have time for that shit i don't have time to craft a tiny fucking uzi for my goddamn ferret crackers just put him in the fucking sock, you insane asshole. Jesus fucking Christ. So I do that. I hang it all around the, the room, all around the house. I, you know, it's a two-story house, uh, three-bedroom, two-bathroom. And Mr. Crackers goes in it, and he stops. And he stops. I say, go in there, Mr. Crackers. Go in there, Mr. Crackers. And I push him, and he doesn't budge. He doesn't budge. Now, I, l let me tell you, there's only one entrance and one exit. Now, this is not... I, I did not think of this. I'm thinking he's just gonna dive in, jump in this love life, but no. I'm basic. it's like Vietnam. I'm like, here you go, jump in this hole, you might die. Mr. Crackers doesn't want any of that. He, I just bought him. He doesn't know me. He's a ferret. He doesn't know me. I call him Mr. Crackers. I feed him uh, carrots and tomatoes. I don't even know if he likes carrots and tomatoes. Maybe he just thinks, oh, this is what this guy eats. This is his diet. Maybe he's a vegan. He only eats carrots and, you know, no more steak dinners for me. Guess my name's Mr. Crackers now, and I'm eating tomatoes and uh, fucking carrots for the rest of my life, and I gotta crawl through holes. Welcome. Welcome to your new life, asshole. So I do that, and I'm thinking, all right, I gotta do something for Mr. Crackers. Jesus fucking Christ! Is the cargo good? Fucking potatoes. All right, so anyhow... Uh, you know, I, I grab him out, and I start to grab him out and push him, but now he's already halfway in there. You know, he's got his head in there. He can't see what's behind him. Someone's grabbing his ass. He starts scurrying in there, and I say, no, Mr. Crackers, don't go in there. It's me. 
your friend, your boss, I'm just trying to get you out because you're afraid. He's not having any of that. He's thinking there's some monster from the mist trying to grab his nuts. He dives in there, goes in there, and he's, I, I see his little body, you know, crawling in there, and I say, okay, good. Okay, good, fine. He's in there. He's in there. He's fine. He's good. He's happy. Whatever. He gets about two feet into my sock tunnel, my, 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 my sock tunnel, and he stops. And I, I see him, and he's in between, you know where he stops? He stops right where the door, you know, the frame door is. So if I close the door, Mr. Crackers is going to explode into Mr. Cracker Pieces. My crackers are going crackers right now if I close that door. So uh, I'm like, I, I have to go to sleep. I don't have time for this. I can't close the door. I want to close the door. But I love closing the door because I don't know what's going to come in my house at night. I got a three-bolt system on the door. It's not the front door, obviously. You think I'm an insane person? No. It's one of my, It's the bedroom to the hallway, and I just like having the door closed, all right? I don't... I, Slender Man, all right? Slend, there you go. Maybe I live in the woods. You don't know. You don't know. So either way, I'm like, all right, I got to get him through. I, I, I got to get him at least past this intersection. What the fuck is this? What is this? What what is this? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Come to Europe. We'll find you. Oh, I don't have my lights on. God forbid. I'm trying to tell a story here. Go 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 go. Yes, I know. Go 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 across. God damn it. No, go across. Go past. Fucking rain and I gotta deliver these stupid potatoes. It's bullshit. Who saw me anyhow? Go go across! Go go past! Go past me, you idiot! You stupid fuck! Oh my god. These fucking idiots. Go around. Go around. I don't I'm, I don't know how to turn the headlights on. Go around, you idiot. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck, it's John. God. Ugh. Just get just give me a second. Light modes, L, L, K, H, Jesus Christ. Whoops, those are the brights. Oh, burp hot dogs. Oh, they got some great hot dogs left bust up. Anyhow, piece of shit. Anyhow, um, so Mr. Cracker is stuck in between the doors. I gotta get him through because I want to go to sleep. You know, I gotta, I gotta wake up in the morning. This is ridiculous. Six, twelve, eighteen. Six, twelve, eighteen. I don't know. I got three by. Anyhow, uh, so Mr. Crackers, he's, you know, it's Jesus Christ. Uh, he's in the, he's, you know, up there. I start pushing him. I start prodding. I'm hitting back legs. I'm hitting a little bit of butt. You know, he's, you know, I'm, I'm trying to nudge him along. Hitting the back legs. My two fingers, you know, my middle finger and my index finger. I'm pointing, I'm hitting them, I'm touching them. And he starts rubbing against my fingers. What is this? He likes it. He likes the fingers in his butt. And he starts, he starts going back. He starts going back backwards, which I, I haven't thought of this. He can't go back backwards. So he's trying to turn around in this little tiny sock. I got little feet. He's trying to turn around in the stock, and he's he doing a U-turn, and he gets stuck. He's stuck in between the door frame now, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm just shaking my head. Scream! I start screaming at the top of my lungs. Eventually, he finally gets the clue, runs out, runs out. He's out of the door frame. He's in the other room. I slam the door closed. I say, "You deserve that, Mr. Crackers," and I go to sleep. I go to sleep, okay? All right. Four, about four hours later, wake up nine, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, one of those. Uh, I hear scratching on my door. I hear scratching. I say, 
what is that? Maybe I say, oh, maybe he got to, maybe he got to the end, got out, and now he's scratching on the door. He wants to come inside. Um, so I open the door, and it's a it's a dog. There's a dog on the other side of the door. And at first I was, I, you know, I jumped because there was a dog. It's a little dog. It's like one of those little white dogs. It's got the fluffy hair. I don't know breeds of dogs. I'm not a scientist. It's a little brown. It's like uh, from the Little Rascals. You, you ever watch the Little Rascals? Very popular in the 20s. I'm sure you're all very familiar with the Little Rascals. Anyhow, uh, so there's this dog just looking at me. And I'm like, what? What is this? And I say that to the dog, you know, never know. Maybe it's Wishbone. It, oh, the Wishbone dog as well, if you guys, you know, if you're more familiar. Um, and if you guys don't know Wishbone, I'll, I'll try to do something uh, more modern. Uh, oh, uh, QB the Space Dog. Yeah, QB the Space Dog. It's very, very it's a very good show. Not oh, great. Yeah, we're not all trying to get gas. What is it? How much? Get out of the way, mirrors. Ah, unbelievable. Unbel unbelievable. 150 euro? Unbelievable. It, do it does smell nice in here. I, I, will, I will say that. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Except for that. That was me. That was me. About time. All right, here we go. Fill her up. Fill her, fill her up. No. Fill her up. Yes. Press and hold, yes. Jesus Christ. Good, we're good, great. Anyhow, so there's this dog. I open the, you know, door's there, dog's there. And uh, I say, where's Mr. Crackers? Thinking this dog can speak. Dog barks, does a 180, runs away. I'll, I start running after this dog, by the way. Um, I'm in just my underwear and a shirt, all right? I don't take, I go to bed with, uh, uh, I have a Call of Duty uh, Mountain Dew uh, pajama pants, very comfortable, and I wear my socks to bed. But I forgot, I remember, I used all my socks, so I didn't even go to bed with my socks. Glad it wasn't chilly, I wake up with ammonia, I'd be dead. But I, it, was, it was a nice warm night, I have a radiator, it's beautiful. Anyhow, um, so this dog, Wishbone, bark bark runs away i start chasing after wishbone i'm running i'm running back door wide open back door wide open what is going on i get to the back door i look out the patio there's a trail of little pellets little brown pellets i look down i kneel and i pick one up i put it straight in my mouth put it straight in my mouth i chew it because i usually my grandmother she usually comes over leaves m m's all over the back porch I think grandma came over last night, left me a beautiful dog. Nope, it's cracker poop. It's cracker's poop. Crackers somehow got out, pooped, and then left. So first thing, Wishbone's following me this whole time. Wishbone don't care. Wishbone's got all the time in the world. He's, you know, he's, he's a dog who, who does whatever he wants. He's basically a freelancer dog. You know, he travels. He switches families. He breaks small children's hearts. Son of a bitch. Oh, my God. It, it doesn't matter. You know, pan potatoes, they're all, they're not going to notice. Oh, there's some, there's some damage to the potatoes. Really? Really? What, do you run a potato factory? Yes, this is the potato processing plant. Anyhow. I found out later what had happened. Crackers, Strausberg, uh, uh, Crackers got to the end of the tunnel, my sock tunnel, and it it was right over my back door. 
he fell out, hit the door, and like tr he was like wiggling, opened the door, and then this dog, who I found later belonged to a circus, and his one trick was he opened doors, opened the outer door, which, you know, I don't lock, it's a screen door. And, um, I, I mean, I'll tell you the rest of the story after we park this thing. Um, this is going to be real simple. We did it, everyone. We got three hours. Gotta get my ears checked or something. Let's do another job. Don't you wanna do a job? Who's got the job? A job for me. I'm the man who talks to birds. I'm the man who talks to birds. I'm the man who talks to birds. Who's me? That's a man who talks to birds. That's me. I'm a man who talks to birds. I got birds on my brain. I got, I got birds on my brain. They call me the bird man. I'm gonna come in your house and give you some pain. Uh, 